All right. Uh, wow, what a way to try to come back to podcasting even before a pay per view. But um, yeah, not only pay per view, but also before uh podcast movement, the homecoming. Uh, so I'm just stuck in the seat. Now it's got worse. It's gotten so worse that um, you know, ever since I went to the ER. I had to pick up a couple of medicines, and I can't do that because I'm stuck in the heat. I mean, everybody in the southeast, uh, in the south, uh, southeast and southwest, is stuck on the heat dome. Well, now the situation is getting worse. So instead of just the heat advisory, now we're under an excessive heat watch. Okay, so that could mean that drill field temperatures could, could go over one ten, even probably close to over one fifteen. And I have a dream that I'm going to tell you about. And I also got a rant that I'm going to tell you about. That's why I wanted to come back on here. Uh, other than the dreams that really, really hurted me today. Uh, the fact that there are other kinds of bigots. Not, that, not just racial bigots, but people who are against, uh, you know, people with disability. And yes, LGBTQ is uh, is, uh, is including that too because uh, they trying to they trying to include everything uh, under being protected now. But still, other than that, and no, I don't celebrate pride because I don't believe in pride and I don't celebrate it. But that's me. That's my opinion. And yes, I'll still drink Bud Light because it's the only drink beer that I'll tolerate. It's the only beer that I like. And you don't like it. You know, you don't have to be a citizen if you don't like it. You don't have to be a citizen. Anyway. Oh, wow. Okay, so. Yeah, so. Uh, it was like ever since uh, I came out the ER, it started to get hot. And I had to pick up my medicine, but I can't because it started to get hot. And and then the wet longer that I wait for a lift, it's just the, the, the weather is just being bearable. And that was like. Today it got to like a hundred and ten. I was so knocked out that I was having dreams. Yeah, I was so not. That's how knocked out I was. I was like having vivid dreams. Okay, and I'll tell you that on the podcast. So today, right before the other thing I was going to tell you about, like I said, we got it to a set of heat warning, and I'm still waiting to get the directions for when I do the video for podcast movement and then or and um and also to see if I could do a written article for them as well. So I'm still waiting for that. Because I already got my hotel, which is the uh Motel Six by Denver Airport, where it's gonna be the embassy of uh Big D country. Yeah, so much for embassy because the West is trying to take over every sport in the known that's known to man. Okay. They already took over football. And I don't know. Well, hockey season isn't over yet. And baseball season has no, uh, been over yet. So I can't say that. But they already took over football. And now they took over basketball because the Denver Nuggets beat the Heat. I mean, the Heat. Not even didn't even didn't, Miami Heat didn't even didn't even wasn't even in the playoffs. It wasn't even a the player. They just they just murdered the Heat. They just murdered the Heat, murdered it. I was going for the Heat. Even even Prime Minister was going for the Heat. Prime Minister, and I think uh, well, the artist formerly known as Scott Disney was going for the Heat too because he had a Heat thing there, but they lost to Denver. And ironically, it's the whole city of podcast movement. Ironically, and I gotta, I gotta be embarrassed when I when I go there, you know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Terrible, terrible. But today took the cake. It literally took the cake. I can't do nothing. I've been sick off and on, and I almost nearly freeze to death because the, the air conditioner in the house stays at one temperature, close to 69, and then sometimes it goes freezing. I was talking to uh, Chief Justice, and one, one night I was like 
freezing. I was almost freezing after half the death. I'm surprised I didn't even have hypothermia. I could have been killed. I could have been killed in, the, in my own room. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I, I couldn't turn it on. I couldn't turn it off like I wanted to. I couldn't uh, raise the temperature just a bit, just a tad bit. Not too much, but just a tad bit so I could at least be comfortable. No, it was just one comfortable. Uh, it was just one uncomfortable uh, temperature. It was freezing. It was just literally freezing to the point that I almost could have died. <sighs> okay. Okay. So now here's where my heartbreaking situation comes in. I'm putting, uh, I'm putting this person on blast. Okay, here it is. August twenty eighth is coming up, like right after podcast moment. That's way after podcast moment because I think uh, podcast moment is ending on the twenty fourth, and uh, so it's on the twenty first or the twenty fourth, and the anniversary is on on August twenty eighth. So. I mean, yeah, I'm still probably gonna have flashbacks, but at least hopefully it won't be uh it won't be worse because I'm in a different environment. Even though these streams have been so vivid that I've been having lately, I mean it's crazy, absolutely crazy that I've been having. I don't have no regular dreams because I don't have a girlfriend. And that Jennifer Lopez, remember that song, "My Love Don't Cost a Thing." Obviously, he was talking to, she was talking to somebody else, but still, which was on me. But that song is Rondo! Because even after the Tempe Biasi, the Me and the Man said, even love have a price. All these scammers. And now, just before I went on the air, I wasn't even going to go on the air until podcast moment. Or, you know, until I get the update uh, ID. And I know I got a, I, I know we got one more pay per view before I go to podcast movement. Before I go to go to podcast movement, but uh, yeah. So, oh, wow. I mean, what what else is going to happen? What else is going to happen? Now I found out that there is a lady that just crushed my whole world again. Because I would talk to this lady on Twitter, I would talk to, talk to a lot of ladies on Twitter, but problem is I keep running to escorts and romance scammers. I don't want an escort. I don't want a romance scammer. I want a new wife. I want a new wife. Okay? Friends and benefits are okay, but I also want a new wife. Come on. This is seven years of hell. Now going on, I'm about to be embarrassed. When I come back from podcast mode, I'm about to be embarrassed because I've been a widower longer than I've been married. Some people got 20 years above me, 30, 40, 50, 60 years of marriage above me. Still together, still together. And I had to be I had to be jealous of a family that was uh, walking around in an emergency room. I guess either heading out or, or heading somewhere or whatever the hell they was going. And I had to be jealous because I was in that ER room by myself alone. Come on. Well, all right. I'm being around the bush. I came across my first ever female bigot. Okay. Now, I had to get the name, and I will get the name, and the picture will go up on here. Her name is Ali A L L. A L yeah, A L O L L. Well, you see it on the marquee. And she th- and we was all talking, you know, having a nice conversation and on I told I had to tell the truth if I could tell all the women that, you know, like they that, oh well what do you do who work? I said, I'm a disabled and I caught one woman, the one woman who just came out and said this. But I don't like disabled men. Yep. She's going on blast. She said, but I don't like disabled men. Yeah. So, not only the heat is killing me, but I just ran into a bigot. 
But let me, before I forget, before I lose my mind and go crazy, let me tell you the dreams that I have. I dreamt that I saw, now I don't know where the hell I was, but I dreamt that I saw Michael Jordan, you know, number 23. I saw the great Michael Jordan. I don't know how this happened, but I saw Usher again. Now, don't worry, don't worry. He didn't belittle, belittle me this time like the last time I had the dream that I saw Usher. And he got on me for not getting on, along with my verbally abusive mom. The only mom that I got along with was my mother-in-law, even though we had that funny f- fight that made my wife crack up laughing when I was defending her. But still, he didn't do it this time. And I also saw the CEO, either the CEO or the president, whatever. I saw the owner of McDonald's. Now, a couple, uh, either a couple nights ago, I had Papa John's. But why did I have a dream about meeting the owner of or the CEO of McDonald's? It's beyond me. Maybe because McDonald's is more popular? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Then I almost was about to to uh to see Britney Spears. And I wanted to see her. I was like, oh Britney Spears is coming. Britney Spears is coming. I wanted to see her. Maybe I could see a chance to date her. I wanted maybe I could get a chance to date her. And, and I was trying to stay in the dream. Matter of fact, I felt myself wanting to stay in the dream. And I think I, I met some ladies, but uh they looked like that they looked like they saw me and said that they were gonna think that I'm ugly, so I, I pulled off a quick joke and um they laughed, and I was satisfied with that. So I, uh, I had to pull off a quick joke because they were gonna say something like I was ugly or something like that. So I said, "Oh shoot, I gotta protect myself. Let me make them laugh." Well, I couldn't do it in this instance. I couldn't do it in this Twitter instance. When I met my first female bigot in the history of dating, in the history of trying to get married again, in the history. Right before I blocked her, I kept the email, because I usually throw them all away. I kept the email. I said, I have to put this bigot on blast. I had to put this bigot on blast. 